those characters. No, you're right. She definitely wasn't third. But I did feel like she was like top, bottom five weight. Uh, she got, she got, um, she got patched that like uh, to that weight. Yeah, she was after post patch. She was uh, lighter than Kirby. Yeah, that's wild. All right, so we have a beast who is one of the most aggressive players that has ever been in this bra in this tournament series, and with a hundred percent attendance rate. Thank you, beast. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's actually Lyric. So I'll talk to you later in a bit. Yeah, sure. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, what a good down air. You know, the down air super strong. We got a back air. Unfortunately, in that situation, uh, DK can't really do a lot. The charges are trying to come back up. The best he can do is try to trade. Oh, nice use of tilt. And a great bait for the F smash. So one of the things that Beast is best at is forcing people into situations where they have to make an impulsive decision that they probably aren't going to win. I really love that about his play. Oh my goodness, that back is so good. And a great back off from Dan the Man to, uh, to hit Beast to get back. All right, Dan can take a stock if he gets the right hit, and wow, she went darn it! All right, good use of the uh, of the shields break to get back into the full punch. It's still going to be kind of a tough time getting back down. I is a great character for for catching uh, heavies when you're trying to come back. Oh my! What are these down airs? Okay, I like it. He took so much damage from all that, and a great down air over the ledge, taking out Dan the Man. Uh, yeah, Ivysaur's down air is so, so strong. I mean, it's, it's so, uh, it's not strong. It's so, it's so big. <laughs> it's such a huge move, like it covers such a large amount of space, and even though it's like kind of a weak down air overall, unless you get like a sweet spot, it's so, um, it is such a good tool, especially against a character like DK, who has to come back with a very slow move. Uh, it can be really, it's a really good tool. But, you know, it's not like it's because of Ivysaur that he's getting those six spikes. You can see, like, all of, uh, all of Beast's other kills has either been forcing Dan into situations where he has to read, uh, the recovery, or just, or just, like, getting the perfect punish. Okay, he's going DK now. Alright, interesting use of the uh, the barrels, not probably not getting as much uh, damage as he wanted, especially on the explosion. Uh, Diddy Kong got a buff recently and it was a pretty big one. Also the use of the uh, of the jump is really interesting because when you have your opponent on the stage Using the jump off can be pretty risky overall. Yo, nice use of the uh Oh my god, so much stuff is happening. I'm not even like really sure what to say about all this. Yeah, no, nah, banana ain't gonna stop flare blitz, bro. Alright, Dan looking for some kind of opportunity. He's not in that terrible position, but he's got to stop giving away uh, his stage control like that. Monkey Flip is a great tool. It's very hard to react to. 
But if a person is playing at a range where it's going to be difficult to react to it, or where that it's uh, where they can actually like react to it and get out of the way, it can give up stage control really easily. You can see like Dan is not a. Uh... And Dan's having some difficulty uh, really trying to place the kill, and he is building damage, which is great, but he's got to confirm into something. All right, that should have been it. That was totally it. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. And that's probably going to be the death. He unfortunately did not up the immediately out of the, uh, the flamethrower. He had the opportunity to, but he didn't react properly. Yeah, down tilt to, uh, to up smash is not really a thing in this game. Uh, it is possible to land it based on... Um... Oh no! What the hell, man? Pokemon so honestly, part of that was Beast just going for like the big brain, uh, the big brain reads. It was, I feel like Dan kind of gave up at a certain point. I <laughs> just let that happen, bro. You just kind of let that one happen. That, that's, that, that's wrong. Oh, that, that, that banana throw over on the Flare Blitz was probably like the worst part. All right. Well, congrats to, uh, to Beast moving on to winner semis. And he's going to fight the winner of the next set, which is Zach versus Vivi.